Today on GEN, we will take a look into the skate shop and see how our own Golden Eagles performed at last week's football game. GEN starts now. Good morning, Golden Eagles. I am T.R. Salinas, and we are happy to be bringing you the news in sports. Last week, students had an opportunity to explore college and career options at the annual college and career kickoff day on October 13th. Grade levels were guided to explore in different ways. Some students took advantage of the time to explore possible futures. Thank you, Golden Eagle counselors, for putting together this day for us. We know that there are a lot of skaters on our campus, and we wanted to shine a light on the new skate shop in town. Mass more better. For those of you who haven't got in yet, we got the story. This Saturday afternoon, we came out to Mass More Better Skate Shop and interviewed the owner, Abraham. I moved here from Imperial County at the age of four. Been here ever since, specifically 15 years in Desert Hot Springs. In my life, it's a, it's done, it's everything. Uh, from the way I speak, dress to who I associate with these days, really, it's. Uh, it's always been an outlet for me, you know, ever since I was a kid as well as now. It's something I can go and do and kind of get my mind off things, you know. I think it's important to cope with everything in life for sure, but it's always great to have a creative outlet such as skateboarding. So it's been probably the biggest impact in my life. You know, being here the last 15 years, uh, 10 of those years or so, I spent it with the youth here at the skate park. I'm a, obviously a skateboarder myself, and I recognized at some point that I felt that this was something that was needed because I realized that the kids didn't have it. I was fortunate enough to have something like this growing up and I always, you know, I remember really, really, I have fond memories of that time. And so I just thought that it was, you know, if I had any chance at all, it'd be really nice to give the kids something similar to this, somewhere that they could have kind of as a second home base and uh, somewhere they could feel safe and comfortable and, you know, just come kind of, sometimes we need a break from everything, even the skate park. So it's nice to have somewhere you can just kind of go and hang out and escape. I know we can do a lot more, and hopefully everything you've been doing and you know the coverage we've been getting is going to get others to jump on board and kind of help out a little bit so we can you know together just do a lot more for everyone. Come on by, Be, you know, even if it's just to come and say hello, we welcome everyone. Everyone that comes through this door is family. Um, you know, it doesn't matter like, your background, you know, what you do, what you don't do these days as far as you know on a skateboard. Even if you don't skateboard at all, come on through. Just uh, you know, we welcome everyone and. Uh, this is about just hanging out and, you know, having a place to hang out and talk and, you know, make friends. Um, encourage everybody to come on by. I guess, you know, that's my biggest message I can send out there. We hope we answered some of your questions. I am T.R. Salinas reporting for GEN. Once tattoos carried a stigma with them, but these days they are as common as jewelry. And they are no longer looked down on. You could say they are the current trend. One person on campus has a special tattoo. David Montes has the story. Hello Eagles and welcome to Eagles with Tattoos, where we show you students, teachers, and their tattoos. Today we went down to Mr. Sheridan's Spooky Room, 216. Oh, my first one I got for my wife for her birthday. Um, and that was the little genie thing right there because obviously her name is Jeannie. And then I went back and I got her eyes coming out of the lantern. For my kids, Derek and Dana, they love the ocean and they love the sunrises. And so that's the sun rising over the ocean with the D and D for Derek and Dana. I have that right there. Notice it's the old logo. Notice how I fought like heck to get the old logo back after they had changed it, after I had put this on me. So of course it was worth it. I'm, I'm so proud of this school. I, I, I love having a part of the school on me for the rest of my life. See you next week, Eagles. I'm David Montes reporting for GEN. Thanks, David. And now, let's go to Nicholas with the sports update. What's going on, Golden Eagles? This is Nicholas Rigmaiden with sports. How about them Eagles? On the 8th, our Golden Eagles football made Desert Mirage look like a peewee team. We have full coverage of the game and a look at Latinx night right here. On Friday, October 8th, our Golden Eagle boys varsity football crushed the Desert Mirage Rams in a 46-7 blowout victory. The Eagles dominated the Rams on both sides of the ball. 
The Eagles defense excelled that night, only allowing the Rams to cross the 50 yard line a handful of times. The Eagles also got to show off their dominant offense. Quarterback Joseph Henderson scored five touchdowns with two TDs through the air and three rushing. We interviewed Joseph after the game and asked him how he feels about the win. Are you gonna ask the question? Oh, okay. And then, and then here. No, you can talk. I'm gonna yeah. just be here for moral right. support. <laughs> I feel like this is a well-deserved win. We came out all week and practiced hard. Um, we got a lot of talent on our team, and we actually put things together and got this win. I feel like I am a leader because you know, senior. If you're a senior, you know, you're kind of automatically a leader. I say me and him, leaders of the team. So, yeah. Along with the game, there was an incredible performance from the band and color guard. The spectators not only witnessed an exciting win, they also got to enjoy the Latinx night celebrating Latino heritage. For Desert Hot Springs students, perform Baila Flacorico in bright, captivating dresses. We interviewed Bianca Mylan, who told us what this rite and her heritage means to her. This basically means my culture because uh, my parents are Mexican, so they're, they, since I was like little, they teach me all my culture and like, well yeah, basically my cultures and traditions from Mexico. That's it for the broadcast, Golden Eagles. Congratulations to the football team on their second blowout win. Our girls volleyball had their final game on the 14th. The seniors walked out with friends and family to commemorate their season. We interviewed two of those seniors and asked how they felt about their season and what's next for them. It's been very fun. There's been a lot of ups and downs with the team, but we're all one team and we all play together to make like a fun experience out of this. With it being my last game, it's kind of bittersweet because it's like I've came this far and I worked this hard, so the recognition is nice, but it's also like sad that I'm leaving all my little sophomores and freshmen. Thanks, Nicholas. The majority of students this year are on campus for the first time. We'd like to help you become familiar with the campus. Next week is homecoming. Homecoming always has a theme and consists of a football game on Friday night, complete with a halftime show, a parade, and the crowning of homecoming court. During the halftime show, each class sends a float around the field in a parade, competing for spirit points. Don't miss the halftime spooktacular. On Saturday night, there's a semi-formal dance here on campus. Get your tickets at the student store before the dance. In the week leading up to homecoming, there's always a spirit week with different dress up days and lunch activities. This year's theme is Vintage Spooktacular. The spirit days are as follows. Monday is Pajamas Day, a favorite when you wear your pajamas to school. At lunch, there will be a donut eating contest. Tuesday is Flannel Day with a pumpkin decorating contest at lunch. Wednesday is Decades Day. Seniors wear fashion from the 70s, juniors the 80s, sophomores the 90s, and freshmen the 2000s. At lunch, there will be a dance battle and a photo booth so you can show off those costumes. Thursday is Class Colors Day with face painting and jump rope during lunch. And Friday is Monster Mash. Wear your costumes and get ready to trick or treat around campus. There's a lot more to discover here at DHSHS. We have some campus news up for you next. So I Am That Girl is a female empowerment group and we work with the girls to um, just as like to spread positivity amongst the female student body to sort of dispel the typical high school uh, girls tearing each other down and really switch that into young women building each other up and celebrating each other's successes. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, at the moment, we just started off our 21 Days of Kindness campaign and we are calling upon the student body and the staff as well to practice 21 Days of Random Acts of Kindness. We talked about everything that was going on on campus um, that was negative so we thought, what could we do to sort of turn that around and just create a more positive atmosphere? 
So the girls came up with that. The members got that idea that they wanted to, and they bought the roses on their own, and they wanted to just do that to run through campus and hand roses to people just to make them happy. Just be so passing out the roses is sort of our kickoff for the 21 days. Hello Eagles and welcome to Eagles with Tattoos, where we show you students, teachers, and their tattoos. Today we went down to Mr. Sheridan's Boogie Room, 216. Oh, my first one I got for my wife for her birthday. Um, and that was the little genie thing right there, because obviously her name is Jeannie. And then I went back and I got her eyes coming out of the lantern. For my kids, Derek and Dana, they love the ocean and they love the sunrises. And so that's the sun rising over the ocean with the D&D &D for Derek and Dana. I have that right there. Notice it's the old logo. Notice how I fought like heck to get the old logo back after they had changed it, after I had put this on me. So, of course it was worth it. I'm, I'm so proud of this school. I, I, I love having a part of this school on me for the rest of my life. See you next week, Eagles. I'm David Montes reporting for GEN. Listen up, Laura Costman. We have some advice for you. Let's hear it from the seniors. Uh, my advice to the lower classmen would be to focus on friendships that really matter, like not friendships that you think will like give, bring you like social, I guess, like socialness. Um, I'd also recommend like you focus on school and you don't slack it because it's really hard to get your grades back up. To not get distracted by the gangs, the drugs, pretty much that's it. Uh, that's the main focus on that right now. We have a lot of people fighting all over the campus for no reason literally. Any advice I'd give is that even though it might be kind of easy at first, take it seriously because you might regret it later. The best advice that I've gathered over my four years um, would be really branch out and don't be afraid to go try new things because it holds you back and your senior year you're going to regret it. Yeah, just have fun, make your memories and get your work done honestly. Get your work done first and then you can have time with your friends. Uh, just pay attention because like um, if you pay attention throughout your years, your senior year will be relatively easy. Don't be doing no middle school games here, like it's high school. This is our Golden Eagle student store, where they sell items ranging from school merchandise to snacks, and you can purchase them at both lunch A and B. So today we just got in our class of 2024 class t-shirt. Do we have the class of 2025 class t-shirt? We have class of 23. We also have our senior jersey for the current year. And we just got in the spirit shirt. And we get different snacks all the time, depending on what is available from the merchandisers. Right now we have kettle corn because it's fall time. We have some brownies. We have chocolate chip cookies. Those are new. And one of our classes is selling Dippin' Dots for a fundraiser. Come by the student store to satisfy all your cravings and needs. This is Johnny Simmons reporting for GEN. Well, there you have it. Even more about our campus. Be sure to tune in next week for our Halloween episode and look for our cameras during lunch to show off your Halloween costume on Friday. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when a new episode is ready. Until next week, I'm T.R. Salinas signing out for GEN.